Hey class, welcome to chapter 6. This chapter we're going to be talking about recycling. Recycling and materials recovery. So recycling is one of the closest links a lot of us have to waste diversion. For some people it's the only waste we can divert. Um, but we don't often know what happens next, so we'll talk about the rest of that value chain and where it goes and how successful that actually is about achieving our integrated solid waste management goals. We'll also talk about some other ways that we can actually get material out of the system if we can't get people to put it in the right bin over here. So we'll talk about mixed waste recovery where we're going through our uh, mixed waste black bag material and pulling out recycling that we want and also about landfill mining where uh, it's the stuff that's already been thrown out, not even the stuff that's been collected, but there are ways that we can recover some of that material as well. Materials recovery is actually older than modern landfilling. Throughout history, there have been populations, usually poorer um, or other marginalized people, who have been responsible for going through society's waste and recovering materials and injecting them back into the economy to be used by others. Uh, as noted on screen here from the article that's quoted in New York City, mostly immigrant workers went through the trash and picked out marketable materials such as bones, rags, and bottles. Um, in 1935 is when we saw the first formal recycling plant be established in San Diego, California, and it used some early mechanical equipment, conveyor belts and magnets, and it had a manual picking line, and all these are things that are still used in modern MRS today. The first sanitary landfill came two years later than that. So we've had these systems as long as we've had landfills. Landfills have always took more waste um, than we've recovered, but we are going to need to recover more materials uh, if we're going to be sustainable about waste and really uphold that vision of a circular economy. In many areas of the world where there aren't those systems in place to source separate material or mechanically separate materials afterward, there are people who still to this day derive their livelihood from working and manually picking through waste to find the valuable materials. This is a very hazardous job, but it's one that many people across the world are still engaged in. This example is outside New Delhi, India, but you'll find similar examples across the world. To begin this topic, we're going to start at a high level and look at the current state of recycling. I've got linked for you in a radio interview with Diane Sachs, Ontario's former Environment Commissioner. So you've heard from her already in the podcast with Bruce Taylor. Um, in this uh, interview, she's talking uh, with Michael Enright at CBC about some of the challenges facing the recycling industry and how it's going to change going into the future. And in the subsequent sections, we'll look at the more technical aspects of recycling, um, as well as complementary technologies, uh, mixed waste processing and mechanical biological treatment, as well as landfill mining. So I'll leave you with this link and follow along with the progress quiz for this chapter. There's some questions that relate to what they discuss.